Welcome guys, so I'm doing a bit of midweek magic. It's uh, Phantom Sealed with Lord of the Rings this week. So, I'll go through the cards first and uh, see what's uh, looking good. Okay. So, I, I've had Legolas before in, a, uh, in my other sealed I played. One for reach. Gets bigger when you cast spells on him. Whenever you cast a spell on an opponent's creature, he he deals damage equal to his power to one target creature. Seems quite good. But you need you need spells that have targets for this to um, do stuff. Baradur. So, for black XX, a mass orcs X, activate only if a creature died this turn. And uh, yeah, a mass, it's, it's sort of like the old um, zombie army, except it's an orc army. So that seems like a really, really good mana sink late in the game. Just, just make a big chunky creature. Oh wow, we actually have Frodo. So one, two. Right, if he's a citizen, looks like and I uh, spend white or black two white or black mana. Becomes a two three lifelink. And for triple black. Oh, I see. He, that, that's it's like it's it upgrades Frodo. Permanently. To a two three life link. And he becomes a scout. And then for three black. He becomes a halfling rogue. Whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, that player loses the game. If the ring has tempted you four or more times this game. Otherwise, the ring tempts you. Cool. Alternate win condition. That seems pretty cool. Okay. Lotho, Corrupt Sheriff. Sheriff, I, I mean. Whenever a player casts a second spell each turn, you'd lose one life and create a treasure token. Okay. Aragorn the Uniter. Blue, white, green, red, 5-5. Five, five. And it's like it does cool. He does cool stuff whenever you cast spells of the appropriate color. Okay. Ioma, Marshal of Rohan. Four, four haste for four. Whenever one or more attacking legendary creatures you control die, untap all creatures you control after this phase, there is an additional combat phase. This ability triggers only once per turn. Interesting, right. Now, if he, does this trigger, still trigger if Yoma is killed? Because if you kill, if you destroy the source of a trigger, you don't get rid of the actual uh, effect, do you? But at what point does it trigger? It's one of these timings questions I'm a bit uh, sketchy on. I think it might work.
Okay, I think we'll go through color by color. Uh, but I will start with the land and see. Yeah, it's just Baradur is the only land of note. Uh, so, I'm going to go through these. I'm looking for, I'm using the bread, the bread um, strategy. So, uh, bombs, removal, evasion, aggro, and dross. So, and I'm just, imp I'm usually to make it easier. I'm just looking for the first three. So, bombs, removal, and evasion. So, Frodo is an interesting alternate wind condition. And the fact that he can become a 2-3 lifelink for three, basically once you spent 3 mana that's that's not bad I think that uh, definitely worth considering Lotho mm, makes, occasionally makes some treasure helps you ramp things out I think I'm also interested in mana fixing. This this could be mana fixing. Hmm. Cup. Right, for two mana you get two one one flyers. That seems uh, pretty good value. But yeah, they are tapped. So yeah, that's uh, that comes under evasion. Butter Burberry Innkeeper. Oh, you get a food token every turn off this guy. That says that says value. And he's legendary as well. Okay, let's uh, there's there's food strategies involved in this, so that's probably a bomb. And Aragorn is clearly a bomb as well. Mirror of Gladriel. Yep, it's it's card draw. I think uh, I think that's a, a bomb. Inherited envelope. Is mana fixing. That's great. Yeah, I like that. Scry three and reveal the top card if it's a creature, draw it. Okay. This seems good, isn't it? It's because you could probably be playing thirty um seventeen creatures. You could be very unlucky to not hit a creature. And if you're looking for land, you can get three cards closer to a land. I think that's pretty good early fixing. Okay. Yeah, protection spell. I'll just leave that out for the moment. Another legendary. And he... Also helps you make food. And he's a grizzly bear as well. Grizzly bears are typically, you know, pretty solid things to have. Oh, two mana to bring any permanent back from the graveyard. Get a food token. I do like the sound of that. Um, let's, but let's keep it on the back burner for now. What is Pathfinder is mana fixing. Be like that. Brand new farmer makes lots of food. Chance met elves. Ah, it's a scrying payoff. Isn't that interesting? Three, two for three is acceptable in my book as well 
so not bad. Leg glass, really good. Peregrine Took also makes food, and it's a food payoff, so you make you can sack three foods, draw a card. Fantastic. Oh, green removal spell. Now we've got two of them. It, yeah, it's a punch spell, basically. But that also makes food. That's good. Just just a big creature. Back end porter, but... Looks like we could have a few legendaries. That could be quite threatening. Galadrim, Galadrim Guide. Scries for two. Pretty good. Uh, four, five, trample for five. Also pretty good. So that's that's an innovation ability. I think we we like that particular uh, like that quite a lot. Um, that seems like a lot of green cards. Yep, ten green. Okay, red. Rush the room. Right, so that, that's the uh, quite familiar first strike combat trick. We'll skip that. Okay, interesting red removal spell. Your opponent actually needs two, two or more creatures for this to, to do anything. Yeah. Maybe it's all right. Okay, Arabod Flamesmith, direct damage. That's technically, uh, it's like evasion. So I think that's worth thinking about. Another combat trick. Okay, four damage to any target, but you have to sacrifice something. Pretty good. It makes two one one white human soldiers with haste for two mana. It's humans haste. I think we skip that. Grishnak. Right, a mass orcs two, so you get a two two. And you can steal one of your opponent's creatures to land a turn. So this is the steal a steal spell on a creature. And I've got two copies of them as well. And it uh, synergizes with uh, amassed orcs as well. That does seem pretty good. Let's think about that. Okay, this guy's got reach. You can give one power. I think stopping flyers is pretty good, so I just tend to include every reach creature. Okay, bit of card draw. Okay, enchantment that gives everything haste. And legendaries plus one power. Not bad. Okay, Fire of All Thank. Seems okay. Destroy artifact or land. Creatures of that flying plant. Block this turn, which is going to be most creatures. Okay, more ring tempting, and Yoba. So that's, uh, on, I would say red doesn't seem as strong as green. Uh, 
have included 10 red cards as well. Okay, uh, Golem's Bite, minus two, minus two. Good removal card. Oh yeah, this is, uh, this is, now this is a way to get lots of scrying, if you can keep bringing this back. Removal spell. Oh. Combat trick that gives death touch. And makes food. Not bad, I would say. Easterling Vanguard is an Amass card. I think I might, I'm quite interested in these Amass cards. Oh, March from the Black Gate. So whenever your army attacks, it amasses one. Yes, I like that. Uh, okay, so that's like a 1-1 one, one creature that draws a card. I like that. Here we go, here's a bit of creature sacrifice. So we definitely have the steel and sack potential okay and lots of mass cards that's what we like mm. And uh, if we're going to go for Ring Temptation, we might go for Nazgul as well. Another good removal spell. Oh, Merkwood Bats, I like that. Punish your opponent. Uh, for letting you make tokens. Uh, Torment of Gollum. It's a very expensive hand removal card, but you get, you get a 2-2 two -two creature. Uh, sure. I think there is a lot of support for a mass in black here. Oh, Swamp Cycling 1. Great. And can only be blocked by three or more creatures. Wow. I've got two of those as well. Okay, black looks absolutely fantastic. Lots of removal. Lots of su support for a mass. I'm probably going to go through blue quite quickly. I'll just see if anything jumps out at me. Interesting, but funny. You can uh, <laughs> give your opponent control of a t of target horse you control, and you get three treasure tokens. Right. So I just need some horses. You say you're telling me. Okay. Nice. That's an evasion card. That amasses orcs. 
Gandalf. Uh, this, yeah, Gandalf's pretty good because you get to draw cards uh, when you when the ring tempts you. So, okay, that is removal. Okay, knights that grow bigger. Oh, we, orcs can start milling people. Oh wow, well, island cycling that just seems good. Land cycling for one mana. Okay, and that's a flyer. Okay. Uh, there's not very many white cards. Okay. Do actually have Samwise and Frodo. Two East Farthing farmers. That can seriously pump up a creature if you have a, if you're going for food. This is pretty good, so you just basically draw a card. 3-2 for 3 and you draw a card. Uh, pump the team, it's pretty good. Well, that's got flying. But I think I've made my mind up. I think I'm going uh, red, black, steel and sack. Seems like the simplest thing to do. And we'll just. It actually says I've got 40 cards, which has worked out very nicely. But let's just see what we're missing out. I never put Shelob's Ambush in or the Nazgul, because we're not going for Ring Temptation, particularly. Combat tricks, I'm seeing a bit of card draw. Okay, just a sec. I'm gonna give give this a little bit more thought. Alright, I have thought about it and uh this is what I'm going with, I've decided. I mean I could be playing a flyer here. Wood bats, but uh, I'm okay with this. And yeah, we've got the we've got the completely the wrong uh, picture here. I think I like this one. Okay, we're um, we've got a slow hand here, really, but we've got a three drop, so I'm going to keep it. We've got the right land. Got 
two removal, expensive removal spells and one expensive hand removal. Oh. There's the, uh, the white plane cycling card. We managed to top deck a, uh, a two drop, which is quite cool. Now, we've actually got the combo here. Lash of the Bullrug, we can sacrifice a creature. Right, he's got the uh, the proper Frodo ba 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 Baggins, I guess. Um, as long as Frodo is your ring bearer, it must be blocked to Fable. Interesting. Okay. Can't be blocked by creatures with greater power. Okay. There's a lot going on here. I'm going to go ahead and play Haradrim Spearmaster. Oh, he's now 3 1, so yeah, he can attack into Frodo. Go for it. That's nice, look, he's got four colours on turn four. A turn four Aragorn. I was just thinking, uh, there's definitely a, yeah, I've recently seen a card that's four colours. Oh yeah, he's also got Aragorn. Okay. Grishnak, what can you do? Right. Well, Lash of the Bullrog only costs one black mana. And uh, Grishnak can steal power less than or equal to in a master army's power. Yeah, this is obscene, but I'm got so obviously I'm going to do it. So we're going to Grishnak. Should let us steal Frodo Baggins. Oh well, meh. Uh, <laughs> Let's read that again. Why didn't that work? Oh, it has to be a non-legendary creature. Of course. Yes. Makes sense. Makes perfect sense. Well, we did not steal and sack because all of his creatures are legendary. Um, oh, well, Krishnak, you just signed up for um, Bullrog duty. Let's just... Uh, there's a lot of text on Aragorn. I hope I can still kill him. Yeah, it worked. Cool. But really, he deserves it for managing to get a turn 4 Aragorn just with basic lands. Absolutely ridiculous. Well, now he's got Strider. Hmm. How's Pippin's Bravery? What, what's that do? Do it plus 2, plus 2. Time to turn. What's your plan? Um, oh, he's got the ring now. I see. I'm not sure why. I mean, there's, mm. 
let's let's not worry about it. I can now double block Frodo Baggins and kill him. Foolish Hobbit. Unless I'm missing something on this in this wall of text. No. All right. Fair enough. I've got Hero's Downfall to take out this guy. Uh, but let's use uh, the Torment of Gollum before it's completely irrelevant. Second breakfast. Uh, okay, he gets... This gives him creatures. Let's get rid of the thing that gives him creatures. Uh, yeah, go on. This definitely doesn't have surprise first strike, right? I'll just swing in with the army. Okay, yep. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, can draw and discard with uh, his ring bearer attacking, and uh, we do no blocks. And. Okay. Like that should be it. Yes. Well, we face the turn four Aragorn. But we had a removal spell. Cool. Very good indeed. Okay. Got a cheap removal spell here. That's an expensive removal spell, and that's an expensive removal spell. So this looks like a terrible opening hand. But it's got good lands, so... I am loath to throw away good lands. See, we top, we top decked a creature. We got a 3-drop. What was this again? Yeah, make a 1-1, one, one, draw a card. Seems good. Sure, I'll lose, lose a life point. I will attack with a 2 1 orc army, I believe. Beautiful. Trades with a flyer. Gothmog. Which tokens have death touch? And I'm back. Right. 
So, Gothmog's pretty nasty. The, uh, the army is getting pretty nasty as well. This only pumps other creatures. That is a good observation. Um, we have an Easterling Vanguard. Yeah, I'm thinking too much. Okay, uh, do we use the hero's downfall here? Yeah, I'm just gonna use it on Gothmog. I probably regret it later, but we want to get through with two damage. Takes death touch away from his orc army. Oh look, that's that's Sauron. So four four menace. Sauron is a full full menace. <coughs> um, exile creature. Oh yeah, that's that's absolutely horrendous. We have to put a stop to that. Um, we could play a full cost Lash of the Borog here. That's probably fine. Oh, you have the one ring as well, of course you do, right. This means he's in... Uh, as I've learnt to my cost, this means he's indestruct uh, indestructible for this turn, invulnerable, can't take any damage. Yep. What's this, a golem? 3-1. Right, it's probably time to bash three three here. That will give me a one one, so it's not too bad. Uh -huh. Well, Gollum's going to bite himself in response to that. Two one. 
Um, let's give lifelink to this guy. Okay, two two menace, extra plus one plus ones. Okay, okay. Interesting. Right, uh, let's go for the army, that could be the ring bearer. Fill his hand. He's going to take three damage. So he should be dead in two turns. Hey, right. Yeah, I feel like unless he's got a lot of haste next turn, it's going to be difficult for him to win. Or unless he can sacrifice the ring somehow.
the law codes. He's drawn nine more cards than me. Oh, rush the room. Cool. Got a big troll. The ring claims another victim. <coughs> Okie doke. Yeah, this looks fine. Maybe we're going to get milled to death this game. Do I hold on to Grishnak until it's a bit more effective? That's the question. I'm going to swing in with the Vanguard. Oh, wow. A yeah, cart spell. I'm not expecting that. Yep, so he's able to, able to tap them for the uh, third mana. Right, that's menace. I can't. Uh, yep, just no blocks, I think, there. Is it time to just race with Ioma? I say it is.
Yeah, I'm thinking about breaking of the fellowship on something. Um, I've used a timeout. Maybe kill the menace one. I'm a bit scared about this Farley, but killing my um, Orc army. Link and amass the orcs. Yeah, okay. Oh man. Of course, he had an instant speed bounce spell. Oh my. Because they always have, have to have everything, don't they? So now it is a case of just trying to slow down a bit of the damage here. So I'll just trade with a 1-1. One, one. So, yeah, we could play this, steal something. Or just play a 4-4 four, four and block with it. Assuming he doesn't have another counter spell. He has another counter spell, of course he does. Oh yeah, that's the fire breathing one, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, no black mana. I think let's see another hand. I mean, we do have the the com the combo of Grishnak and Lash of Bulrog. Tell you what, let's let's uh, roll the dice. Let's keep this one, and we'll just we'll tr try and draw a swamp. Or maybe a third land would be good as well. Might get us somewhere. Oh, there we go. Swamp and a third land. Um, go with this guy. Fog on the Barrow Downs. Right, it is basically a... Pacifism. 
fair enough. Oh, but it still pumps my um, Yoma, that's nice. I can play Torment of Gollum as well. Might be a good idea. Right, so, this guy, steal a 1-1, one, one, blow that up with Lash of the Balrog, that is one, uh, one possibility. I think I'm going to be more ambitious, I'll do Torment of Gollum this turn. Aha, uh -huh, Knights of Dol Amroth, they, uh, they grow. Right. Okay, that bounces things back to the hand. Okay, flash flyers. Oh, that's a rare. That's okay. That's a bomb. The ranges of a thillion. Uh, so he's got a handful of quite strong things. Let's get rid of these rangers. He's probably going to get a. Uh, I don't want to trade off, so I won't. And just remember, if he's got blue mana up, he can bounce something. Such as the army. Okay. And the knights are scary because they grow. Excuse me. Still got a bit of a cough. Right. Um, let's try and remember what I was doing. So, Grishnak was going to come out, which will amass two. I will be able to uh, grab the knights. And I think just attack. Like that. Kills Ioma, I get I wanna see if I get another attack round. Cause that is quite interesting to me. Of the ball rug.
Oh, he's got Dawn of the Dawn of a New Age. Second person I've seen with this. And then you just yeah, draw cards each turn afterwards. Based on the number of creatures you have in play when it comes into play. Uh yeah. Yeah, good old steel and sack. Um, still seems to work in this set. Hmm. Yep, yeah, well, I'll have another quick look at the deck. So, I, did, uh, I noticed I had two Grishnaks, and that they, they, he sort of temporary st temporarily steals things whilst making an orcish army, so I just looked for all of the amass cards basically. It was a very simple deck to put together. And yeah, seems to work. And this helps that black was very strong and had lots of uh, removal spells. don't think I actually swamp cycled my troll of Krasadum at all. I thought I'd be using that more. And we didn't get to see Ioma's ability. I was wondering if Ioma dies, does it trigger the extra attack or not? I feel like it should. Anyway, I think that is the video. Uh, so, thanks for watching.